guys, it's Kenzie Sims. This is my fifth episode of my 100 baby challenge. Right now, Jimena is pregnant with her, actually, let me count, her seventh child, although it'll probably be her seventh and eighth child because she's had twins every single time. I've actually been dying to film this episode all week because I finally finished their first floor renovation. I have the speed build on YouTube already. Bam, I love it. So they had $23,000 in their savings. I ran it all the way down to 21 bucks. I wanted to use like a bright colorful palette because like the whole energy in the house is just all about kids and family. So I wanted like really youthful colors. Formal dining area right there. Foyer. I don't know why those are there. We do not have a cat. Anyway, so storage here for, you know, coats and stuff through here. The living room. We have a full homework station here. Right now I only have the one couch and two chairs, but the next harvest, I do want to expand the seating in this room. I want to take their next $20,000 do the upstairs because they're all still sleeping on air mattresses. So it's Sunday. You know what? I'm just going to get started. We'll just do it. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention that I, I also redid the bathroom too. I'm so excited to finally get them living in a nice house. I feel like it's just going to make everything go more smoothly. I don't know why. Like they still have all the same amenities as before, but it just looks better. You know what? When everyone gets up, we're going to go out for breakfast. Oh, you know what? They I can't go out to eat. They only have $21. <laughs> Never mind. Good thing I realized that before we showed up at the restaurant. <laughs> oh my god, she's still in that stupid bear suit. That is so cute. Honestly, it's incredible. I just threw in $20,000 worth of furniture and now it's a home. It is now seven o'clock. I made a movie theater specifically so that they could all go out to the movies today. Okay, so let me show you around really quick. So this is the exterior here. In the lobby, there's the ticket booth here. This is the concession stand and I have the popcorn machines, although I'm not 100% sure if they're usable at this size, but we're gonna find out now. There's the lofted eating area, arcade game, and the bathrooms. Then through the hall here, I have two movie screens. The seating is like a deluxe theater type seating. Okay, so if you do get the movie theater, I made the platforms too high for them to actually step on. Okay, so I lowered the platforms. Now everything works fine. They're gonna watch The Clumsy Sisters. That sounds like a nice family comedy. Look at everybody with their popcorn. Oh, I love when things like this work out. It is 10 o'clock on a school night, but they take so long to do everything. Oh, they're all bored. Nobody liked the movie. So note to self, Clumsy Sisters is a boring black and white movie that nobody liked. Should have just watched Super Kids again. Who the hell is this? This stupid vampire broke into the house. Umberto's gonna take care of that. Umberto's gonna get his ass in shape because he's got a little bit of a pooch going on in the belly area. Oh no. And we owe $7,000 in bills. There's no way we can do that. Oh my God, seriously? Why can't you guys just be nice? All right, it's three o'clock. Everyone's getting kind of hungry. So we're gonna have our Easter ham right now. I can't wait to delete all of the stupid flowers that grow. No, 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 no. No. Let's go, Judith. This is my problem child here. Huh. Judith is erratic. You're gonna get out of the house as soon as possible. All right, Jimena is in labor. All right, it's a girl, Colette. That's pretty. Yes, another girl, twins. Camille, Camille. Where's the other baby? Oh my God, who's this? Luz, she's an A student and she's gonna be an art lover. Oh, and the water was shut off. It looks like they fixed the glitch where he couldn't water his plants. I'm gonna go ahead and sell the sprinklers now that he can just do it himself. <laughs> Ernesto's acceptance letter. <laughs> yes. I got rid of the sprinklers. So now that their water bills are finally under control again, with tomorrow's harvest, what I wanna do is buy some new appliances that I'm happy with so that he can upgrade them. Nice, okay, so I have two children ready to age up again. One's gonna be a teenager, one's gonna be a young adult and can move out. All right, Andres is a snob, a green friend, and materialistic. Why is that so perfect? All right, Judith is going to be erratic and a cat lover. Oh my God, she's a crazy cat lady. That's fantastic. I'm afraid this household is not in compliance with the green gardening. You're kidding me. That's getting repealed. And you know what? I literally saw the inspector stand on the porch and scan for a garden. Nice. So this is gonna be babies number nine and 10. I still have that patch of ash on the floor from when Umberto set the kitchen on fire last Sunday. 
Judith huh. is working with a big booty here. All right. One teenager is ready to age up. It's a good thing too, because she's very tense and I don't really feel like dealing with that. Les is an art lover, a child of the islands, and a slob. Oops. But when you're done, there's more watering to do. Why did this random cat just walk into my house? What's wrong with it? Some sick old cat. All right, Judith is an A student. She is the last child of our first batch of six kids. Cat lover, erratic, and a bro. <laughs> Look at her leave. Bye, Judith. Oh my gosh, she's not leaving. Okay, no, she's gone now. I'm gonna burn dinner. Pregnant, in the kitchen, vacuuming with dinner on. This is the future that my mom wanted for me. It's Valentine's Day. I remember their first Valentine's Day. Oh, they were going to go on a date, but they couldn't get away because they were too tired from taking care of the babies. They have two babies again. <laughs> oh no, they're toddlers now. All right, Colette is inquisitive and Camille is fussy. Right now, Jimena is just making a group meal of fruit salad so that the toddlers can just help themselves to it whenever they're hungry. Just gonna leave it out for them like they're little puppies. Umberto's rocking a full dad bod now. <laughs> okay, so because it's love day, they are going to go out to eat at the Chandler at Cliff Walk, which is actually a real restaurant in Newport. So let me show you around. This is the exterior. The side here, this path goes to an outdoor eating area for wedding parties. The other side is the actual wedding arch. Then the first floor has the restaurant. This is the lobby area, little waiting room. The bathrooms are in here. The restaurant eating area is, you know, a nice fancy place. And then the second floor is the indoor wedding area. There's a table for gifts, of course. The wedding arch is on the balcony overlooking the water in the daytime or sunset. It looks really pretty. The reception area is over here inside. And then on the other side, the dance floor and bar. Now, Jimena is pregnant. Are they gonna let her buy alcohol? Looks like they are. Peter's gonna hate, I guess. She's gonna get white. He's gonna get red. She's gonna do the trout. He's gonna do the steak. Remember, white with fish, red with meat. They are both exhausted. I really hope they can make it through this dinner without falling asleep. Well, saw that coming. And there she goes. Poor Umberto. His wife's ass is up in the air. This is not a good look. That's okay, because honestly, he's going to do the same thing in four minutes. Hopefully by the time they wake up, the food will be here. And now she's in labor. You know what? I do not care. Oh my God. And where is he? It's one in the morning. This chef has not turned out a single meal. That's it. They never once got their food. That was honestly worse than their first Valentine's Day. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's going to take forever. Okay. Another girl. Wow. Elizabeth, I like that. Yes, more twins. This one's a boy. Antoine. Antoine. Antoine? Like, I usually like to have them go out on Saturdays, but they're just too tired. I guess this is what Saturday's gonna be, just catching up on sleep. And he's doing multiples at a time, but yeah. Okay, and she's pregnant again. This is gonna be babies 11 and 12. Oh, you know what? I don't have to worry about weeding all these. They're just gonna disappear into the ground tomorrow. Okay, so it is now Sunday, summer of sim year two of the 100 baby challenge. Jimena is pregnant. We had the first batch of six kids age up, move out entirely. Now she's pregnant with the last two of a second batch of six kids. She'll be leaving her young adulthood having 12 children. Then she'll be able to have probably another 12 children in her adulthood. Umberto obviously is not going to live as long as her. So at some point she's going to have to find a second husband. Maybe I'll just continue her on being a widow, doing the farm and everything since that's how 100 Baby Challenge is supposed to be anyways. We're like, you're not supposed to have a husband, but we'll see because I really like their relationship and it's just, it's cute. We were able to pay off the bills figure out the water problem. So goals for summer, what I want to do is have Umberto upgrade the appliances to self-cleaning, sturdy so they don't break all the time, so that it's a house ready to pass on generation to generation. I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed this episode, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for continuing episodes of my 100 baby challenge, speed builds. Honestly, I'd say that my channel is basically 75% speed builds, 25% let's plays. So anyways, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.